Hi guys, just uh, another video on uh, Google AdWords and this time I just wanted to have a quick overview on remarketing lists and why they're actually so powerful. Um, it's a underused feature I think. A lot of my clients they actually never heard of it or don't really understand how to use it. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. So within your AdWords just go to your uh, campaigns tab and then go to your audiences and the audiences you can find within the shared library. So on the left side you have audience here and you can say uh, then here is your remarketing list. So by default if you have a new account it will automatically generate a audience list. What we want to do however is create a very specific list of users that are coming to our website uh, rooting around, adding a product to the basket, but then not actually converting, so not purchasing for the product. So what we can do is we go to remarketing list, and then let's call this one um, conversion chase. So then who to be added to your list? So by default there is one that is visitor of a page, which means anybody landing on your page. However, we want to do a very specific uh, visitor, so somebody who came to the page, added the product to the basket, but then didn't purchase the product. So in order to do that, we need to select visitor of a page who did not visit another page. And you can see there are a lot of different combinations that you can use. You can even do visitors of, visitors of a page with a specific tag. So trying to get them through uh, different advertising networks and then trying to remark them through AdWords. But for now, we're just gonna select visitor of a page who did not visit another page. So first of all, we want people who visited a page with any of the following. So for example, a page that has the add to basket functionality. So that is often a page or a query that is run. So when somebody presses add to basket, a, a signal is being sent. So based on that signal, I want to actually um, do my re remarketing. And you can see it's a URL contains add to, add to basket or referral URL contains add to basket. So for some people, they might not have the add to basket function. So alternatively, Alternatively, what you can do is if you don't have the add to basket function, you can maybe select a page, for example, the basket HTML page. So somebody that actually looked at their basket page but didn't proceed to the checkout. Or even if you want to do it further in the goal, you can say somebody who actually went to the uh, fill in your details page. Right? So you need to know the page names, of course. So in this case, I'm just going to use the add to basket because in this particular website, whenever somebody uh, adds to basket that actually calls a, a fake page which is called add, add to basket and I have my remarketing codes on there. So in this case people visit the page add to basket but did not visit any other other page with any of the following. So they added the product to the basket but they didn't convert. So normally with the normal process of converting is you select your product, you add it to the basket, you put in your personal information, you go to your billing and then after you press purchase you will be returned to the website that says thank you for um, purchasing this product. So in this case I'm going to add in a thank you URL which is an, an often uh, an occurring page that after you purchase something you say thank you for buying this product. So I add this one in there so the URL contains thank you. So now we have a rule set up which says people who visit a page with any of the following conditions so add to basket and didn't visit the page URL URL contains thank you. So now we can um, base our, our remarking list on this. So we can put in a little description. So users that came to the website but did not purchase. And we can press save. So after this is saved, you will actually have to put in remarking tags. So the remarking tag is a um, piece of code that needs to be sent so you can get it to send to your email address and then they will actually give you the particular piece of code so in this case you can see the remarketing tag code here right so you need to put the the, the remarketing tag needs to be on your pages so for Google to actually understand that they are there and also understand which particular page the user is on at that moment so when you've done that you can actually start creating a separate campaign for your remarketing list so let's go to campaigns again And then within your online campaigns, I'm just going to create a new one from scratch. So a display network. So now here we need to actually set up 
what type of campaign it is. So it's a remarketing campaign. So we're going to select this one. Remarketing. And then we set our budget. Okay. So now by default it says dynamic remarketing. So what we want to do is actually do a, a bit of a, a custom remarketing. So we're just going to skip the part here. And then of course you can do your standard default settings, you know, location, option, etc. We're going to just press save and continue. So now in the next spot, we're going to actually select our remarketing list. So in this case, we have our conversion chase. So that's the list that we just created. And at the moment, there shouldn't be any audience in there. But for now, we're going to put it in there. And then that's it. Now we have our, our campaign set up. Oh, sorry, I have to put in our cost per conversion. So $5. So now we have our campaign set up. And within this campaign, we're only going to target users that were on our website before, went to add something to the basket, but then didn't uh, complete their purchase. So now we, what we can do is we can actually have a very specific headline or call to action for them. For example, um, by now using coupon code, and get Percent discount on your first purchase. My website .com. and of course wherever the site is going. So now this is a little bit vague because of course you need to have products, right? So if, if you know that they were looking for a specific product, and that's the nice thing with remarketing, you can actually list your your campaign based on okay they bought product A so now I'm gonna say headline buy product A now and get another 10% discount so in this case uh, in this case I'm using a very generic one so buy now using coupon code discount 10 and get a full 10% off okay so in this case I created my text ad using the special coupon code and you know this is a, a, a uh, it's a display network that we uh, selected but we can actually, you know, you, so you can go for an image ad or you can go for uh, create an ad from scratch. But for now, just to make it simple, a simple uh, text ad and save ads and we're done. So now we have our first remarketing ad set up. And again, this is very simple. Somebody lands on our website, doesn't purchase. So when they go outside of the internet again, we're going to retarget them saying listen, come back and you get another 10% discount. So that's it. Simple enough and can be very effective.